Hi there, this is Andy from Totally Forex, and today we will go over the mobile version of MetaTrader 5 platform for Android phones. To start on the MT5 mobile version, you will need to download the MT5 application. To do that, simply open your Google Store and search for the MT5. It's really hard to miss. Dependless of what broker you may have chosen to create an account with, there is one application to download. The first step will be to log into your account. To do that, Tap the three horizontal lines on the top left side, then tap Manage Accounts and finally tap the plus icon. Then enter the name of the broker you have created an account with, for example FBS, tap on it and enter your login and password. Some companies have more than one server so make sure you choose the one that you have created the account with. The info can always be found on your dashboard, on their website or on the email you have received by them. Anyway, once you have added the login and password, log in. Congrats, you have logged into your account through your phone. The quotes section is the main section of the application, and as you have probably guessed, this is where you see some of the symbols available for you to trade. To add more symbols, tap the plus icon on the top right side. Now, depending on your broker, you will get quite a few options, so if you want to add metals, tap on it, choose the one you want and tap on it, automatically will be added to your quotes screen. To get back to quotes, tap the back add symbol on the top left side. Now you're back to quotes and if you scroll down, you will be able to see gold versus USD we just added. To remove a trading pair from your main quote screen, tap the pencil image on the top right side. Then tap on the trust icon once. This will give you pick options next to each pair. Check market or them and then click the trust icon once more and the symbol or symbols will be removed from your quote screen. To get back, tap selected symbols on the top left side. To move the purse around to your liking, tap the pencil icon once more, then tap the three lines next to each symbol and scroll them up or down to your liking. Once you are finished, tap the selected symbols on the top left and get back to the quotes. From here and by tapping on any of the pairs you can place a new order, check the charts, look at properties, market statistics and depth of the market. Starting with new order, once you tap it, you get a pair on an exclusive screen. You can change the symbol by tapping on the dollar sign on the top right side and choose the one you like. Keep in mind the choices you will have are based on the pairs you have or you added on your quote screen. So if you don't see a pair you would like to trade here, go back and add it by using the path we followed earlier. We will get on how to place an order a bit later on this video after we make ourselves fully aware of the application, so please bear with us. The second option from tapping a pair is the chart. Tapping on it will open the pair's chart for you. The application will memorize your last open chart, which means if you tap anywhere on the app and tap the chart image after the same pair will be there. To switch pairs on the chart, you either go to quotes and tap on any pair and pick a chart or from within the chart, tap on the dollar symbol and the drop down with the pairs you follow will appear. That way you can switch pairs without having to go back to quotes each time. Tapping properties will provide you info such as sector, industry and so on, while market statistics give you a good idea of the highs, lows and price change of the day. Last, the depth of the market allows you to visualize a ladder interface where you can quickly add orders, stop loss and take profit. The next major section on the application is the chart. We already know how to change charts by tapping the dollar symbol and getting the drop down options. This section, however, offers way more options. First, let's start with the time frames. Currently, the chart is in five minutes time frame. To change that, tap anywhere inside the chart and the circle with more options, which includes time frames, will appear. Pick the one that works best for you. For example, I will pick one hour. As you can see, the chart changed. The first icon on the toolbar is the target one. By tapping it, you see a target cross appearing in your screen. This allows you to check a specific time and price accurately. The next option is the calligraphic symbol F, which gives you access to the indicators. To add an indicator, simply tap on one from the list. On the next screen, pick your settings and tap done. You will see them appear on your chart automatically. To remove it, tap F, trust icon, mark it and tap trust icon again to remove it. The next icon appearing above is the dollar symbol, which as we already mentioned, allows you to switch symbols on the charts. The fourth option on the toolbar allows users to add the second chart on the chart section. 
By tapping it, you will see the current symbol and the time frame. Tap a new window and the new chart window will appear below with default settings. To add a different symbol, tap the dollar symbol and pick it. Now you have two different charts featuring two different symbols. By tapping on it, you get the same circle tool we mentioned earlier. Both charts function separately. The last icon is the new order and by tapping it, it allows you to place an order. Back on the circle of tools, there are two more options we have not looked at. The first one is the objects icon. This allows you to add objects like lines, channels, Fibonacci, Elliott waves and shapes. To get access to all these, tap the objects icon, then tap the plus icon and you get all the options mentioned above. To place the object on your chart, pick the one you want, let's pick a horizontal line for example, and tap anywhere inside the chart. By scrolling it up and down, you can switch its place. Now if you tap and hold on the line, or the object you pick, you will get the option to edit it or delete it. As you can see on the top of your phone screen, the name of the object and the two options are available. Tapping on the pencil, you can change name, point and the color of the line. Once you finish, you change it, tap done and you will return back to the chart. If you tap the trust icon, the object will be deleted. The last icon to check are the settings. From there, you can add OHLC which stands for open, high, low and close prices, so trade levels, have the ask price appear and so on. Last, you can change the color seam or colors of the chart. The seams available are color on white, which is set by default, green on black, black on white, or you can customize it. Feel free to create the chart of your choice. The next main function on this application is trade. Here you can see your balance, equity margin, free margin and margin level. For better demonstrating this function, I have opened a few orders. So in the trade tab, you can check as well all your open orders and how they perform in the market. By tapping on any of them and holding for a second, you can close the position, modify it, open another trade or transfer to the chart. The history tab allows you to check your profit or loss, deposits, swaps, commissions or balance. If you tap orders, you can check the time and date of your past and current orders. Last. The deal section allows you to see not only the orders, but any profit or loss made by them. The other two tabs on your toolbar are the news and messaging, and if you connect to the MQL5 community, you can easily use them. The last thing to check prior we get to place orders is the settings. To do that, tap the three horizontal lines on the top left side. From there, you have the option to navigate against through the application and pick quotes, trade, history, account monitoring and so on. You can also manage your accounts from there. Tap manage account and then you can set an one-time password by tapping the key is sealed, install a certificate or add a new account by tapping the plus icon. Back to the previous options, you can get a direct link to the economic calendar, join the traders community or get access to the trading application. Last, tapping on the settings, you can change the language of the application and most importantly, you can enable one-click trading. If you do though, all your orders will be executed instantly. For this walkthrough video, I will not enable it, but please feel free to do so if that is your preferred method of trading. Now that we're familiar with what the application has to offer, it is time to place orders and finally see how that part works. There are a few ways to place an order and we will try to cover them all. First, tap quotes so you can get all the symbols you follow. Then tap at the one you want to open an order, for example, Euro USD. On the options appear tap new order. Once on this screen, you can buy or sell fast, but you also have the options to add stop loss, trade profit and deviation. Once these are set, tap buy or sell. In case the price changes, you will get a pop-up saying you have been requoted and if you want to accept the new quotes. Congrats, your order has been placed. You will be prompted automatically to the trade tab so you can check the performance of your new order. You can get to the trading interface from various tabs and follow the same procedure as above to place an order. For example, you can enter the trading interface from within the chart. Just tap new order on the top right side or from the trade tab by doing exactly the same thing. Additionally, you can tap and hold for a second in one of your existing orders and you will get the option to open a new order. Dependless the way you get to the trading interface, the procedure to place an order is the same as we described a few minutes earlier. 
To close a position or to modify it, tap and hold on an open order in the trader's tab until the option appears below and choose accordingly. If you tap the close position, you get the option to do it on the next screen, but tapping the close with profit or loss depends on your situation. Just tap it and it's done. If you tap modify, you get the option to add or change your existing stop loss and take profit. To do that, just tap on the stop loss or take profit tabs on your screen or manually enter the values. Once you have added your preferred values, tap modify. MT5 for Android is an extremely well-built application that allows traders a quick and reliable way to trade on the go. You can buy, sell, modify your orders anytime you would like without being in front of your PC or laptop. Thank you for watching our MT5 walkthrough video on the MT5 application for Android. We really hope that it helped you familiarize yourself with the platform. If it did, please leave a comment, like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos which will expand from broker reviews and tutorials to indicators and strategies.